You are welcome to the winning platform tagged Winning by Knowledge. The Holy Spirit is a divine facilitator, but not a replacement for the human brain. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding are three keys that propel great success. The grace of God has brought us freedom, divine enablement, and unlimited favor. However, the grace that is abused will be lost. Any knowledge acquired but not applied has no profitable value. This platform, Winning by Knowledge, teaches a balance between personal responsibility and spiritual enablement as keys to unlimited success. You are welcome to this edition of Winning by Knowledge, anchored by Dr. Victor Falak, a pastor, a teacher, and a human resource developer. Empowers can guide you. Words of Wisdom for Today the grace of God is that extra force added to human by God that makes an ordinary human being to become extraordinary. Extracted from the book, What Grace Is This? Authored by Rev. Dr. Victor Farlock. Praise the Lord. I welcome you uh, once again to the fourth episode in the series of six uh, on uh, this series we are looking at uh, titled the life of the eagle the life of the eagle so we have looked at three episodes and now we shall be looking at the fourth episode episode number four and this episode number four uh, we shall be looking at the life of the eagle and how the life of the eagle affects you you know and how it can be applicable or the relevance of it to your life number four characteristics of the eagle Eagles create their discomfort to achieve their aim. An eagle creates, deliberately creates a discomfort around itself to push it out of the comfort zone for it to be able to achieve a goal. An eagle or the mother eagle usually creates a discomfort for the baby eagle I will make the baby eagle, you know, to be discomforted. And the baby eagle can now begin to find expression of his vision. If you look at the mother eagle, when the baby eagle or the eaglet is gradually growing, it begins to grow, it begins to develop uh, feathers on the wings. Now it gets to a point where the mother will move the baby eagle out of the nest the nest of the eagle is a place of comfort the nest of the eagle just like the house where the bird is the nest of the eagle is a place of comfort and so it gets to a point where the mother will need to train the baby eagle to begin to understand that there is a bigger success in the life out there left in the nest the mother brings food to eat the mother brings water to eat the mother you know gives it every comfort that is needed within that environment and the baby eagle will think that is the end of the life and it remains there but be the good mother the mother will make sure that it exposes the baby eagle to a better and a bigger life out there in the world and so what the mother will do at the initial stage the baby eagle may think that ah, this mother is wicked because it will begin to make sure that what it removes all the uh, soft feathers the feathers used in making the nest usually is the soft feather you know so it will use a lot of sticks together with the soft weather so the soft feather is like the mattress on the bed so the mother eagle will begin to remove gradually will begin to remove you know the soft feathers will begin to remove the soft feathers out of the nest will begin to remove until it gets to a point where all the soft feathers are removed and only the sticks they dry with the sticks that are left and this thing will begin to choke the baby eagle 
it will begin to choke the baby eagle and the baby eagle will become uncomfortable in the nest it will become uncomfortable so what has the mother eagle done the mother eagle has created an uncomfortable environment for the baby eagle and while the baby eagle is thinking my mother must be wicked my mother must be a witchcraft oh my mother is that woman that wants to kill me but on the contrary the mother eagle is preparing a ground and training the baby eagle that out of your discomfort you will find comfort out of your discomfort that throws you out of this zone you're going to find expression of your vision in a bigger world out there and so uh, uh, you must leave your comfort zone that is the application we are talking about you must leave your comfort zone to become what god wants you to be a lot of you where you are today your life has not been able to find expression for the simple reason that you are still within your comfort zone you are grown up you are a big boy and you're still eating your father's food in the house you are still eating your mother's food get out of where you are some of you have refused to marry where you are today because at the age where you are you are still eating your mother's food at 40 years you are still eating your mother's food how can you find expression how can your vision find expression and so the parents that are listening to me imbibe the life of the eagle it must get to a point in life where you must begin to create some discomfort for that your son that you say is the heir to your inheritance begin to create some discomfort for him not because you hate him but because you want to train that your son to become like you you become what you are today a father it wasn't easy it wasn't a day's journey why are you not exposing your son why are you not exposing your daughters to that very life for your sons your daughters or your children to become that better person that god has made them has destined them to be why 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 at the initial stage oh daddy is wicked at the initial stage oh i said daddy should buy me a porch car you know for 10 million and daddy is not interested at the initial stage oh daddy is harsh at the initial stage each time we want to go party daddy will say it's not possible not in my house it gets to a point where you begin to withdraw some comfort from your children stay tuned books books and books great books on leadership such as over 70 reasons why leaders fail understanding leadership roles skills and styles over 36 keys on how to become an impactful leader how to develop good character behavior and habit over 30 indicators of leadership failure and correctional measures and lots more all authored by an exemplary leader teacher and resource person reverend dr victor Falak. pick your copies today at glamour bookshop magami jalingo or at www.godsgraceandlove.org forward slash books or call 081-144-222-288 words of wisdom for today god sends a man when he wants to bless a man extracts from the book you need people to succeed authored by reverend dr victor falak welcome back don't use your millions to destroy your children there are parents that have millions of naira and they have used their millions of naira or millions of dollars or pounds sterling to destroy their children and don't make that mistake in life many have made that mistake don't make that mistake in life you give your child the best that your child needs i don't have any problem about that but while you are exposing your child to the best have you exposed your child to the training that getting this best takes you know a whole lot and much more to eat have you made your children to understand that you pay the price for what they're enjoying have you made your children to understand all this is if you don't that's why you see parents will die you see a father will die today he will leave so much inheritance for his children and in few moments the children will blow off everything and it's gone it's gone 
nothing is left why you are accumulating wealth for children you didn't train you are accumulating wealth for children that you left them within the comfort zone and you didn't make them believe that there's a place you know that is what that is uh that is not a comfort zone there's a place that creates will die for us and all that every comfort you can ever think about is in heaven and jesus left every comfort in heaven and came down to planet earth today we are saved today we have everything you know that godliness can provide why because someone left his comfort zone you know to get you and to get me so there are times in life that you must leave your comfort zone there are times in life enough of this mommy 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 daddy 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 give me give me give me there are times that you must leave the comfort zone if you are not leaving the comfort zone parents help children to push them to go and experience some of these challenges for them to understand if you are a businessman and you are bringing all the money carry your son along carry your daughter alone and at times when you carry them along let them understand what it takes to earn a dollar let them understand it introduce your son to the business you are doing Introduce your daughter to the business you are doing. Let your daughter know that ah, for mommy to get a cobble, this is what mommy goes through. It's not just giving and giving and giving. The day you are not there, the child wouldn't know anything. And whatever you leave for that, your daughter or your son, it will be blown off. And so the, the eagle has this life of creating discomfort, you know, to get comfort. Temporal discomfort to get comfort for the baby eagle. So we must teach our children that this comfort you are enjoying, there's a place of trial. There's a place of challenges in life. You know, it's not everything, you know, that just goes on for you the way it is. That yes, this is the plane. We are going to fly the plane. You're going to enjoy the plane. But at times when you are on board the plane, the pilot will tell you that one, that you are going to experience turbulence. You discover a very bad way that it is turbulent, you know, and all that the pilot has told you, you know, yes, there's turbulence, you know, and all that you're going to experience this turbulence, but at the end of the day, we're going to get through and all that. But when you are not told that there's going to be turbulence, and you just find yourself in turbulence and all that, if you have phobia, flight phobia, those who have fear in flying, if you have flight phobia, and when you enter into very terrible turbulence, you know, it can cause you, you know, a high blood pressure, psychological attack. It can even cost you your life. And so you must understand, you are told ahead of time. So as a father, let's train our children that they need to understand all these things. In Job chapter 20 and verse 10, Job said that when he has tried me, I will come forth as gold. When God has tried me, I will come forth as gold. That means that what trial is the fire that what refines the gold. Trial is the fire that refines the gold. When you see the raw gold is ugly, if they bring the metal, you know, in its natural state, if they mine it, it's ugly. You will not even believe this is gold, but it goes through the furnace, it goes through fire. And at the end of the day, when it is brought out of the fire, you see the beauty of the gold. You see the beauty of the diamond. You see the beauty of the silver. And so Job said that when he has tried me, I will come forth as gold. And so if you see a man today and that man is a gold, that gold went through fire. There is no gold that did not go through fire. And so the eagle would have to make sure that what he creates discomfort, creates challenges. And at the end of the day, the Bible says that what Job became twice as he was before. He lost everything. But in the latter days of Job, he became what double, twice of what he was today. He went through trial and at the end of the day, he became refined. So teach your children to understand that trials, challenges of life does not kill, but challenges refines. Challenge will not destroy you. Trial will not destroy you. It will make you a better person. It will make you a stronger person. It will make you the man you are. It will bring out the goal on the inside of you. You must teach your children that. You must teach your church members that. You must teach your siblings. You must teach you know, the people you are mentoring. Teachers, you must teach leaders. You must teach your people to understand that. You know, that for you to get a goal, the goal must go through processes. But if you are just giving people gold, giving them gold they will know the value of a goal 
That is why the Bible says Jesus was teaching and he was saying if you cast your peers, you know, to the pigs or to the swine, if you cast your peers to it, it will destroy it because it does not know the value of it. It doesn't know the value. So if you take your gold and you cast your gold to the pigs, the pigs will trample upon it inside the mud because the pig does not know the value of it. But if you give it to the person that understands the value of it, it will be well appreciated. And so we must therefore know that if you must succeed in this life, you must learn how, you know, uh, to get out of your comfort zone. In Genesis chapter 12 and verse number 1 to 4, God told Abraham, get out of your father's house to a place that I will show you. What happened? God chased him out of the comfort zone. Get out of there. Get to a place I'm going to show you. And in that place, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make you a great nation. In that place, I'll bless you. And I'll make you a blessing to others. You know, and all that. And so God get him, got him out of there. And when he left his father's house, he met with a lot of challenges. There was hunger. Went down to Egypt. Trials here and there. And all that. You know, but today, Abraham's blessings are mine. But do we remember what Abraham went through? Do we talk about the testimonies of Abraham? Do we know that Abraham had to leave his comfort zone for him to become what God wanted him to be? We talk about Moses. We so much preach about the Moses, the prophet, even the Judaism, the Jewish religion. Moses is one of the prophets that they don't play with him at all. But Moses, you know, did what? Moses left his comfort zone. He said, I refuse to enjoy, you know, the comfort of Egypt. I'll prefer to face discomfort with my people. In Hebrews chapter 11, staying here. He said, I'm not staying here. I'm getting out of this place. The comfort in Egypt. He remember that he was raised in the house of the king, in the house of Pharaoh. Anything that life could provide, it was right there. But if Moses had remained in the house of Pharaoh, Moses would have lost everything. Moses wouldn't have been the deliverer of the children of Israel. Moses wouldn't have been the captain that brought them out of the land of Egypt. Today, you and me wouldn't have been reading about Moses in history. Moses wouldn't have been a prophet. Moses wouldn't have been the mouthpiece or the oracle of God. But Moses said, I must leave the comfort of Egypt. They were the most educated. They were the richest. They were every advantage then was in Egypt. In the east, they were. But Moses left the comfort and decided to disappear to Jethro's house and became, you know, a shepherd. And when God talked to Moses, when God got to, J to, uh, to, uh, to Moses, the Bible says that, and God called to him that he was at the backside, at the backside of the wilderness, the backside of the desert. That means that even the deserts are classified. Deserts are classified. So that means even among the desert, there is another desert among the desert that is the backside. That was where God found him. A man that was living in the house of the king. Every comfort that life could provide, it was there. But he proposed in his heart that I will not defile my vision in this house. I will not defile my calling in this house. I will not defile so if uh, sex is the discomfort that is destroying you, run out of it like Moses. If the life you are living clubbing every weekend is destroying your vision, run out of it like Moses. Get out of that comfort zone. If your father is not helping you, rather your parents are destroying you. Get out of that comfort zone and get to a place where you can redefine your vision. You can redefine your calling. You can understand where you are and where God wants you to be. God is not interested in you losing out of your vision. You know, but the comfort zone is what has most times destroyed a lot of people. And I pray that like the eagle, baby eagle will be discomforted. And out of that discomfort, the baby eagle is forced to fly out. Out of that discomfort that is created, the baby eagle is forced to fly out. As the sticks, the wood is choking the baby eagle. The baby eagle is forced to fly out. And so as the baby eagle is forced to fly out, ensure that you fly out of that comfort zone. So that you can redefine yourself. And I pray that God will help us from uh, this uh, fourth episode that we've listened to today from the life and the lessons from the life of the eagle. I pray that God will help us today that as many fathers that are still, you know, languishing in their comfort zone and they call it pleasure, Father, open their understandings. 
but let the comfort God has given you give you a direction and not to displace your calling. God bless you in Jesus' name. I will see you in the next episode. Oh my, oh my, knowledge is the key. Oh man, oh man, knowledge is the key.